Good morning, everybody. Now, how's everybody out there in YouTube land doing today? That's your old hillbilly buddy, Leo. And I am out having some fun today. Got the Can-Am out down by the river getting ready to do me some fishing. I got the grasses all cut. Heather was out of town for three days, so three uh, three day weekend so i got all the grass cut got all my chores done all my little oddball things done so i'm gonna do me some fishing today i got the can-am out and came down here by the river to one of my favorite spots and i brought uh i brought fly poles i brought spinners and i brought a couple nice catfish poles too the train coming down here in just in a second just thought i'd give y'all a heads up but uh, uh, hang on, I'll just let the train go. I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. Train's gone. I went ahead while it was passing. Went ahead and got some of my gear out. You know, get ready. Get, do some fishing. Before we do though, before we, before we get into today's little adventure, you know, we're going to be doing, you know, like I said, some different kinds of stuff today. But before we get into that, I, I'd like to bring something up. <laughs> I realize that um, this is probably going to be both hilarious and stupid and not funny all at the same time. I get it, I know, but I still I want to bring something up. Uh, you guys, I, I'm sure y'all have all heard the jokes, you know, the the hillbilly jokes. You know, um, run faster if you hear banjos, right? Squeal like a pig. Okay, You've, yeah, I know y'all have heard that. Uh, Heather and I, we have um, we have a bunch of trail trail riding groups on Facebook, so I have to put those memes through all the time. You know, you can't be censoring people, so, <laughs> so I have to I have to actually put those memes through all the time. Guys, I want to explain something to you. Okay, <laughs> my family. My family has been here for about 200 years now. I was here. I was alive. I was here. I remember when the movie Deliverance was made, okay? We did not find Ned Beatty sexually attractive in any way, okay? I'm just going to throw that out there right now, okay? We did not lay our fingers on Ned Beatty. That was Georgia. That entire your story was <laughs> was set in Georgia. Hillbillies, guys, we are totally innocent, okay? Well, now, the, the banjo thing, now, I'll admit, the banjo thing, that's your fault now. If y'all would quit playing that stupid banjo chase music, we would stop chasing you today. And besides, we haven't chased y'all in like two months now. Let it go! <laughs> <laughs> It's good to be stupid, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to clear that up, guys. I mean, I get that a lot. These squeal like a pig jokes and stuff. That was Georgia, guys. They framed us. They're the weird ones, not us. <laughs> we were framed. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'll quit being stupid. <laughs> I just wanted to bring that up. I see that meme every day. <laughs> y'all think that, y'all really think that we did something? Come on, guys, we're hillbillies. Y'all know us better than that. You know we don't do stuff like that. You know, we might get drunk on some moonshine and get in a big fight, but, I mean, my God, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I, I'm going to quit with this stupid stuff. <laughs> I just thought I'd bring that up. I thought y'all would see the humor in this. You know, us poor hillbillies, you know, we got blamed for this whole Ned Beatty fiasco. And we had nothing to do with it. It was a thousand miles from here. We're totally innocent, guys. Okay, all right, I'm going to quit with the stupid. 
<laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead here and uh, I guess you quit being ignorant <laughs> and bait up my hooks. And I'm going to do me a little catfishing early and just see if anything's biting. If not, uh, I brought uh, I brought my brought me a couple fly poles and brought me a couple spinners too. Got me some classic uh, rooster tails and stuff like that. Gonna try a few lures. I've got check this out. Now, this is one of my favorite little fishing spots here, local I should say, local fishing spots. This is pretty close to the house. But you got 119. The US 119 crosses the river right here. It crosses up here too. It crosses like three times. You're in West Virginia, you're in Kentucky, you're in West Virginia, you're in Kentucky. And it just keeps going back and forth. But anyway, <laughs> you, you actually can't get here from there. Uh, you have to come down the old road and come down here. You know, that, that bypasses this place. That just sails right over top of it. But there's a, a really good spot down here, good fishing spot, couple good camping spots too, right, right down here. But uh, this right here, is uh, i fished here several times over the years last time i came over here i think i got a thunderstorm after just as soon as i got set up big thunderstorm rolls through and so i just packed up and went on home but uh we're gonna see how we do today i got me some liver got my couple couple good big fat catfish poles so we're gonna go out there and i mean seriously guys what what's more hillbilly than this right name one thing that's more hillbilly than this <laughs> all right we'll see you on a few i'm gonna get me some bait on and see if we can't catch us a catfish see you on a few hopefully okay i got number one and i'm on the board come here come here sorry guys i'm trying to fish and hold a camera and all kinds of stuff all at once he's not very big he's not that big but hey we're on the board he counts right oh look at that that ain't no catfish well hello looky here Them red tailed suckers <laughs> we got one we're on the board. He ain't catfish, but he counts, don't he? All right. I'm going to turn him loose here and get him in the water. There you go. Just be cool a second, and I'll turn you loose. But uh, I want to show y'all something real quick. A little trick. Now, this is... There he is. This is really... It's more of a nighttime trick, but it'll work during the day, too. You need a little piece of styrofoam cup. And, you know, they're, they're harder to come by these days, you know, styrofoam. But if you can find one, I've got one I've had forever in my tackle box. And I'll turn our little buddy loose here just a second. I just want to show you something real fast. Just tear a little piece of styrofoam and make a little groove in one side of it. So I got him toward just a tiny bit. Put that on, your, on the end of your line at the end of the pole. I've got one on this line at the end of the pole and open the bell when the little paper cup takes off i think you get the point when that little piece of paper takes off you got one he's he's on there but i'm gonna get off here and turn our little buddy loose here and see what else we can catch all right see y'all in a few well we got one uh, if we can hang on to him we got one we wouldn't starve today if that was the goal but we're gonna turn him loose all right dude go get bigger that way <laughs> there you go there you go take off that's it we'll see you next time little dude Go eat something, get a little bit bigger, come back. There, go get your dad. Where's your dad? Is he around? <laughs> All right, back to it. That's actually pretty rare to catch one of them on chicken liver, but 
There it was, right? You saw it. We got witnesses. Red-tailed sucker bit chicken liver. Y'all saw it. Okay, all right. Back in the water. A little paper cup ain't moved yet. I got a couple hits off that pole a minute ago. I figured I'd put the little paper cup on there and try it. You know, just to just for fun. I want to show it to y'all too, and you know, just see what happened. But I ain't got no bites on it since I did the uh, the paper cup on there. The, the liver, something else I wanted to mention. Uh, another little fishing tip. When you buy your chicken liver, you want fresh chicken liver, not frozen. This, unfortunately, was frozen. When I got it, you could see the ice on the side where it was frozen. It makes the liver squishier, you know, when it once it freezes, it's not fresh anymore. It's not as firm. And most people, I've mentioned this before, most people, you can see it still froze a little bit. Most people, they'll just tear off a piece of liver. Don't do that. Use scissors. If you tear it, if you tear the liver, you make the edges all frayed and it's really soft. And when you throw it a lot of times, you'll throw the liver right off your hook before it even hits the water. If you use scissors, the, the, the edges are cleaner and it doesn't rip, you know, and carry on, carry on like that. And liver will stay on your hook a lot better. But I usually go for the kind that has the clear lid on the top. Because you want, you want a lot of red blood. You see how dark that is? This is older chicken liver. But now I usually, if I'm by a creek, I'll pour some of the blood in the water. And that don't take a whole lot. They're very sensitive to blood in the water. Catfish are. And they, they will know. You know, it doesn't mean you're going, doesn't guarantee you're going to get one. But they will know. They will smell it. Well, the small catfish are still biting good. Um, you know, 8 to 10, 12 inches, somewhere in that range. They're still biting pretty good. But I'm not getting any, you know, any, any big takers. And I've got some, I've got number four catfish hooks on my catfish poles, so... You know, they're not going to do much with little fish. They're just going to, you know, they're just going to eat your bait, and that's going to be the end of that. Um, instead of getting a, a little rod out and going after some of the small catfish with an ultralight, I figured I'd break out my spinner and see if I can't do a little bit of bassing. Now, the tug is, it's actually, the tug's famous for its bass, for its smallmouth. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of rock bass and you know all kinds of crazy stuff in here. You know, it's this is an old school river. Uh, you know, it hasn't been diverted and changed and you know all that kind of stuff, just for you know bridge crossing. But I broke out. Uh, check this out. This is one of my little sweethearts from way back. I've had this since the 90s. It's a Mitchell Spider Shaft. And I got a Mitchell Spider mite on it. I got the I got his big brother, the Mitchell Spider, at the house. But that's a little one. That's an ultralight on a medium action. And I've got a classic, classic rooster tail, yellow and orange. You know, nothing, nothing fancy. Hillbilly, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go out and uh, hit some of those shallows out there. See all the rapids and stuff. I'm gonna go out there and hit some of those shallows with this little rooster tail. Uh huh. Even if I don't catch anything at all, I'm gonna have a fun time. I guarantee you that. Wow. Take a look at this, guys. Now, I know this GoPro, it does a good video, but now I can assure you, it is way prettier in person. I can see all kinds of small fish all over the place, everywhere. And you can see the little bit more rapids there. I've got a little bay coming in right here, um, about 60, 70 feet wide by about the same in length and width. But yeah, that looks like a sweet little spot. Look at this. Well. Mr. Rooster Tail didn't do much, but he sure is pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna break out the secret weapon. Got my fly pole out. 
Now this really this is more of a lake kind of thing. It's a bluegill special there. It's they do really great on lakes. Typically you'd see how that bank is, like that bank there. You'd work the banks on a little boat of some sort, you know, canoe, whatever, and you know, fly fish that way. Uh, I'm gonna try it from the bank and we'll see how how well this goes. <laughs> uh, I'll take the camera and sit it over on the hood of the UTV and start the camera from there. Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get at least one or two pretty casts. I'm a little bit rusty, so y'all try not to laugh too hard. <laughs> Thought I'd show y'all them little dudes. Hang on. Here's one dude. Oh, he flew. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna head back to the KM. Kinda kick it around a minute and decide if I wanna throw on some carp bait on the big poles and throw them in or head on home i got a couple little oddball things i could probably take care of today well we didn't have much luck bassing did we so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna put some liver back on this one and put him out about right there and this other one the big white one i'm gonna mix up some dough balls for y'all who don't know how to do this for carp this is a really easy and really effective bait for carp. It's plain old shredded wheat, <coughs> excuse me, plain old shredded wheat and garlic powder. That's the only two ingredients. I would show you how to do it, but you can't hold the camera and do it too. Uh, I get, you know, shredded wheat all over my camera. Uh, <laughs> but you just put, uh, yeah. <laughs> You put the shredded wheat in your hand, dip your hand in the water, and smush it to squish the water out. Then you put uh, the powdered garlic in there to dry it out the rest of the way. Give it about 10 minutes in the sun, and you've got really good carp bait. 
And the thing about carp bait is once you put dough balls on, once you put this on, any bite you get is guaranteed to be a really big fish. Now, the, this one, you know, I, like I said, I'll be putting liver back on there. There's, you know, a lot of these smaller ones, they were hitting really good in here. I went on out the deeper water trying to find a bigger one, didn't get any hits, and that's when I went bassing. But anyway, I'm going to throw back out and see if I might be catching catfish. Who knows? But this one here, I'm going to try to see if I can't land a big carp. You never know. You might get lucky, right? You ain't going to do it for sure if you don't try. So I'm going to make up some dough balls real quick, some garlic dough balls, put some liver over on the other pole, and get back in the water. Just hanging out in the shade. Getting a little bit leafy in the water. Uh, some other locals came down. They came down in a, a Polaris and a Ranger, four seater Ranger. Had a 12 foot boat in the back of their Ranger. <laughs> they just put their boat, put their boat in, and you know, they're out bassing. <laughs> well, I helped them put the boat in, but you know, <laughs> I gave them a push. <laughs> But they're locals, they just live right up here. And uh, came down to a little bit of bass and thought that was pretty cool. Thought I'd show y'all that. It's really nice down here. My hands still smell like garlic. I made up some dough balls, garlic dough balls I was telling you about. They work really good. I mean, I, I can, I can smell the garlic from here and there's pretty much nothing on this earth that's going to remove the smell of garlic from your hands for about a week so <laughs> keep that in mind when you make these <laughs> I can still smell it on my hands I've washed them twice but uh, I'm just kind of hanging out and just sitting back relaxing enjoy the day nice breeze blowing it's really nice out See the ripples on the water? I don't know if y'all can see that or not. It's really pretty. But the breeze is nice. And it's just a great day. It's probably about, I'm going to get 75 out here right now. The little one right there just came up. But, I mean, it's, it's really nice. I'd love to see them lay into a big bass right about now. I'd like to see any of us lay into a big something right about now. <laughs> but that's why they call it fishing, right? You, you never know. If you want the guaranteed fish, you go to Walmart. <laughs> of course, those aren't as much fun, are they? You don't get to do this at Walmart. Okay, kids. We got a good one on there, I believe. And he felt like it. I see bubbles too. Mm. Yeah, he's trying. Come on. <laughs> what the? I knew it. I knew it. It's another turtle. I knew it was a turtle. I could just tell he felt heavy. You could feel him fighting, but you could tell, yeah. I knew it was a turtle. Another little soft shell. Come on. Come on up on the bank. We'll get that hook out. Look at that. Like a pancake. Looks exactly like a pancake, don't it? <laughs> All right. Well, at least I wouldn't have starved today. I had one fish and one turtle. I wouldn't have starved to death, would I? All right. I'm going to shut the camera off and turn our little friend here loose. And we'll try it again. If they're going to keep biting, we'll, we'll try her again. We'll see what happens. May take the dough ball back off. I threw a handful of those Cheez-Its out. In case anybody's wondering, that's little fish going after those little Cheez-Its. The little ones, they're tearing that stuff up. They're liking them Cheez-Its. 
All right, I'm gonna let our little buddy here go, and I guess bait back up. I'm gonna have to have to call it a day soon. The sun's about to get over, and much like Dracula, we we can't do that. <laughs> it's gonna get hot. So <laughs> I moved over into the shade for a while, and I said, probably need to watch another pole, don't I? That's a big dough ball on there. If that thing leaves, it's a big fish. I'm going to keep an eye on that. I'm going to run in my mouth. Uh, you can see the little cheese that's they just eating them up down through there. All right. I'm going to shut the camera loose and let our little buddy go here. And check out the turtle. You see him? He is dead center of your screen. See his head? Right there. I just turned him loose. That's as far as he went. He just kind of, I'll just hide right here. They'll never know I'm here. There he goes. Oh God, I need a good hiding place. He's in there somewhere. You can see a little bit of murky water. He's in there somewhere. All right, I'm gonna quit playing with the turtle. Right, I guess I'm probably gonna go ahead here in a minute and pack up and get ready to head out. Like I said, it's I've only got a few feet of shade left. Uh, it's starting to get up into the day and go home and maybe aggravate Heather for a while. See what she's doing. I know she's editing today. Uh, let's go home and just chill for a while. All right, guys. We'll see y'all a little bit later. Hope y'all enjoyed our little fishing trip today. You know, we only caught a couple, but oh well. I usually do better. I usually do down here. I usually catch a few. You know, when I go down, come down to the river. But uh, anyway, guys, thank y'all for coming along today. Hopefully our pretty little trip, you know, kind of made your day a little bit better, maybe a little bit brighter, you know, kind of inspire you to maybe get out there and do some of this stuff for yourself. And the only other thing I would want to mention, you know, like I was telling y'all, the whole deliverance thing, we know what you did, Georgia. <laughs> We're watching you. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs>